Hey guys, welcome to a very special Between the Lanes uh, episode. I don't, I'm not really so sure this is an episode as much as it is an interview with uh, the current USRA national champion, Paul Goronsky, and also the Eurosport 24th, uh, 2018 national champion, Giannis. So there they are, Paul and, and Giannis. Hey, <laughs> Ron. Hey, how you doing, Paul? So. Yeah. So I imagine you're both very, very tired because it was a long week at, uh, at Frank's. <laughs> yeah, we were, uh, we were thrashing pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, we're, I'm going to get into that because I got a lot. I got uh, not a lot, but I got uh, some questions to ask. So I'm going to start with Giannis. So this is your second or third time to the States to race? Maybe, yes. Third time, I think he went to uh, Chicago for the Worlds. Right. That was in 2010 in the Worlds. Two times. Time. Yeah, two times for the Worlds in Chicago. Yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. I was in a race in the Seattle. He went to the Seattle USRA. On oh, okay. That, that same year in 16, I think. Or the, yeah, soon uh, yeah. after. Actually, it's four. And then here. So he's been here four times to the States. Awesome. So yeah. first time to California. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome. So, um, um, first time at Frank's, correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I know that your journey started over a week ago because you were at the Finnish Championships and you yes. won uh, yes. Eurosport 24th and F1. So, yeah. how many... <laughs> <laughs> so, so Okay, so you go to the race in Finland and you and you win uh, those two races. Yeah. Then did you get right on a plane and come over to the states, or was there a day or two break in there? No, we drive, I drive by car home. Uh, look at the home, how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> and in the mo next day in the morning, fly here. Okay, so so you race at the at the Finnish Championship, which had a had. Was that a little bit bigger race than the race this weekend, as far as entries? Uh, the entrance was the same, and uh, just not so much classes and not so long time. Right. So uh, you race for three days there, four days, three, four days. Four and, days in both, yeah. Okay. So then you, then you go home for a day or a night, yeah, and then you get on, a, <laughs> get on a plane and you fly a quarter, quarter of a – quarter of the distance around the world to come race oh, here. Half world. <laughs> <laughs> so then exactly. you win there, you come here and you win 24th Eurosport. That's a pretty good week as far as bookends go is what we call bookends. So that was, that was pretty awesome. Sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he uh, learned our, uh, learned our track. And they kind of faded out. So I don't know if they're here with us or coming back. Hello? Okay, cool. Okay, so we froze up, but we're back now. So Paul was getting ready to tell us that Giannis picked up the track pretty good, so... Yeah, yeah, that tracks, you know, it's fast and it's uh, not super technical. And so, you know, you honestly seen lots of tracks all over the world. Right. He picked it up. He picked it up quickly and um, he uh, top qualified in uh, Formula One and right. he'd only been there for, for one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, okay, so I kind of, I didn't, I didn't like watch every single moment of the Nats last week. I mean, I, I would check in and, and, and Giannis, you raced the LMP race, correct? On Tuesday? Uh, no, he uh, he wasn't there. He got I picked him up. We had him picked up on Tuesday, and so he okay. raced, uh, practiced that night, and then raced F1 the next day. So okay, so yeah. GTP, right? So no GTP. He had never seen a Blue King track before. Okay, right. He never raced on a Blue King, and so after a couple of days, he was getting comfortable on the road course. I said, Hey, I got an extra NASCAR. Okay, uh, okay. For fun, okay. yeah. Yeah. So for fun, uh, we gave him a. We gave him a Group 10 car, 
And right. It was a good one. So, but he never raced on one of those tracks. And so he, there was 32 entries approximately, and he qualified eighth. Wow. <laughs> so they split the mains like seven, seven, you know, six, right. six whatever it was. So he ended up getting B, which was good so I could pit for him. And so he hadn't raced on one of those. And he was good on there, of course, except, you know, he had some crashes and some damage. <laughs> right. and so lucky I could pit for him. And he was laughing and just racing. And so you know, we actually, the year got loose. And uh, it could have, he would have had a pretty good result, but he would have probably made the top eight if we, uh, if we would have uh, kept him going. But his car uh, got damaged. He loses the gear. Yeah, we lose the gear. And so we were in the pits. So okay. he was fast when he was out there. It was pretty, pretty fun for him, I think, just to have fun, really. Gotcha. Yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> really? <laughs> Driving is fun. <laughs> well, sadly, everybody here wants to race on king tracks. Nobody wants to race on flat tracks, so, you know. Yeah, so the yeah, uh, king track's not popular in a lot, but he never even seen one of those. Yeah, uh, we did not have a king track yet. <laughs> right. Okay, so... So you run two. So Giannis, you run two major races like within a week, basically. So, yeah. how much prep work or how much work did you have to do before you went to the finish race? Then in between, and then here. Uh, the most difficult was uh, make uh, ready to need the glue donuts. Uh, glue gears, uh, prepare some motors. The, for the finish race, I was already maybe two weeks work. Okay. Uh, but I expect to, I will, did not have a time for anything to make ready for a trip to America. So I make some something extra. Right. So I did not need to hear search where is the glue and the uh, how it looks my like donuts that uh, most of the part was ready. I need only make complete motors to understand what exactly motors I need on this track. So I built for each class some five, six motors and tested them. Then I understand that this is good, that's not good, this is better. Or if this motor works, should I make another motor who is very close to this? Yeah. yeah, so some small tests. Actually, for each class, I have uh, some two or three hours uh, on the track to understand what rubber, which motor, which chassis. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what was good about the, the, the USRA race. You know, we had a pretty good uh, crowd, but half the people would be racing on the King. And right. Giannis could be testing motors and rubber and tires. He, he had a good time to during yeah. each day to get ready for that class and yeah it was a good that. schedule yeah and uh he had his you know his car be completely apart with like two hours before and then finally figure out everything he needed and then zip, off you go really fast <laughs> right yeah, i just build uh, immediately some three cars uh, drive it all three and i understand uh, which way i should uh, work Right. That's where is the wrong motor. That's immediately going out. Uh, put different motor in and to continue to test the search what the track need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and I mean you made all three podiums in the Israel classes, which was yeah. awesome as well. I mean, so yeah, he, he was uh, yeah. I think in the yesterday in the one twenty fourth euro we were. 25 laps ahead of third right man, man, it was fast pace man. he was really good and he raced a gt12 too he borrowed a car uh, from gugu and he rebuilt a couple motors and, and uh, never quite got exactly what he needed but <laughs> right that gave a good uh, lap lap it gave him a lot of good race experience with a car that's pretty close to eurosport speed so right. i think it was a good idea that we got him in that race too it helped him uh helped him the track time it more experience to drive on the track but um, first time here right mm -hmm. well you did very good for your first time that's for sure <laughs> yeah, it good. Is, uh, is, uh, about the track it is some the over to it to learn driving track is easy it is some small points on the track uh, where it's possible to little bit push more and these points mm. coming uh, only with time you cannot right. First time uh, visit the track and 
discover all small points where you can little bit push more and well, I feel it in the finals, these <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get them uh, like yeah. on, a, on Black Lane is one of the quicker lanes there, but you know, you have to be more familiar. So you go down, I'll go on, please um, keep yellow and that's like the seventh heat was really uh, intense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I watched, I watched uh, the live feed, I guess, uh, Heat six, seven, and eight. I think Roger started the live feed in heat six. And mm-hmm. you know, I've been watching the um, the photos from the from the lap totals after each heat that Al Chuck was putting up. You know, and and um, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm watching it, and I, and and I'm like, Giannis is flying. I mean, he you. I mean, Paul was 16 laps behind after two heats, and I'm like, what's going on with Paul here? And you ran the 30 <laughs> because I'm, cause what, I'm, what I'm looking at is Paul turned 72 laps on white when you turned 80 on orange the first heat. I think it was 80 or something like that. So Paul goes to red. Giannis goes to white. Giannis rips 79 laps on white to Paul 72. And I'm like, Giannis is flying. <laughs> so – I don't remember exactly what Paul turned on red, but you turned more laps on red than Paul. And I'm like, wow, he is really flying. And then Paul went to green and you went to red. And I'm like, Paul's not stopping for tires. And Giannis must be running lower. That's why he's so much faster on those lanes before Paul. And I mean, I didn't know that for sure, but I was pretty sure Paul wasn't changing tires. So... You guys ran the fourth heat was not on yet, and and Gian, well maybe fifth heat because Giannis was on blue and Paul was on purple, no live feed. And when when I seen the lap totals, I'm like ah Giannis had to change his tires because he only ran 79 laps on blue because he should have ran 80 80 plus laps. And I don't remember what you turned on blue, Paul, but I'm like okay Giannis has changed his tires. Now they're within two laps. Now we got a race. So I remember Paul was on. Okay, when you were on black, when Giannis was on black, Paul was on yellow. So that's when that's when Paul got back onto the lead lap. So going in the last heat, you guys were tied, and Paul, you were probably about a third of a lap behind. And yeah. Power comes on, and I'm watching, and, I mean, Paul, you're reeling him in big time. I mean, it's like, here comes Paul, and as soon as I think Giannis seen you, he was like, I'm putting in fifth gear, and I'm going, and he just started to pull away from you, and then I don't know how many times you came off in last heat, but I know you came off in the donut, and it was a track call. I don't know what the track call was about, but they put you on, and and finish the race, and, and and you beat Paul by what, less than half a lap? Yeah, it was uh, half a lap, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was so close. At one point, we were side by side, side yeah. by side, the uh, big part of big part of that heat. Uh, and, uh, I mean, we were you know, locked next to each other, and he had slight lane advantage, so I was pushing, right. and my tires were starting to go. But his car was still fast, and so – and he came off a couple more times after that track. I watched the video back because I kind of right. lost track. On the first crash, like a half a lot lead, I thought. So I, I kind of was cruising. And then he started catching back up and came out again. <laughs> and then I thought it came around and had left him. And, uh, but looking back at the video, like uh, I didn't lap him. I had come up right in behind him. So I had right. almost a lap lead, not quite. And so then right. I kind of slowed down. It's 30 seconds. The car was getting, was getting a little, uh, you know, sliding all over. And so then – with like 10 seconds to go, I thought I had a cushion. And as he went by, I thought, I thought that's fine. And then power went off. And I, I for a second there, I thought I win. And because Tracy goes, yeah, yeah, you got it. And I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? And so then I had to look back later. Like, yeah, yeah, he got me fair and square. It was a fantastic race. And really, I had nothing left to push anyway. I might have been within a couple feet instead of a little half a lap. But I don't think, it was, I, don't think I was going to get it. Well, uh, for me, it was uh, no time to watch a uh, screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand to, uh, if I want to uh, win a race, I should push maximum out of the car. <laughs> and I know to Paul have uh, very small tires. 
and yeah. I have a, a, enough tires because I have a tire change. On right. The last segment, I just push maximum of the car, completely maximum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and okay. no, no watch cream, just pushing, pushing, and pushing. Yeah. And when the race was in, I have no idea to I win the race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I kind of thought I had, he thought he didn't, but. Uh, we Maybe same, after some half minute, uh, yeah, <laughs> it took us like 10 we understand the play, what place we are. <laughs> well, yeah. like, well, I know as soon as the race was over, you know, Paul thought he won, and and Giannis, you thought Paul won, and then you looked at the lap counter, and it's like no, and and I'm sitting here and I'm saying, no, Giannis won. The way you know, just watching yeah. it, like watch the replay, it's like, yeah, Giannis won. So then they shut the live feed off and. You know, and, then, and then you texted me later, and you was telling me about the race, and I was, you know, like, I love you, Paul, but Giannis, Giannis won. Go watch the replay. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I just, uh, I lost track of him. I thought I had to put a lap on him, but really looking back on, it, I did not, and so uh, I didn't think uh, I had enough left in it anyway. But that whole last team, we were, we were always on the same lap until right. the last ten. And he went by, he went across the counter, and I was in the lead on, like just a little less than half a lap uh, apart. Right, so, but yeah, like you said, there's no time to look at the monitor. We no. were just going as hard as we could get all we could out of the car. Like I couldn't even look, and I was kind of relying on, on uh, you know, people talking and where we were and listen to the announcer. But there was no time. <laughs> to look at the that's our special. That's our other special guest. <laughs> there might be. We might have another special. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, so. That was the ring. Fantastic race. Oh, it was. It was, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better race. So um, I'm going to ask Giannis a couple more questions. So, you know, everybody's getting ready to go to, to Finland for the Israel Worlds here in October. And you've been on the track. And what's your impressions of the track and the facility and stuff like that? Mm. Uh, it is some positive, negative. It is uh, always like that's never, uh, never be. That's to all questions is perfect. Right. And uh, I like design. I really like technical tracks. It's more about the driving. Uh, they put down voltage to 12 volts, so actually it's more easy to drive. Okay. Uh, track have a very good power with a very big, strong. Uh, 16 square millimeters cables and it's very big cables and uh, it is some small things what it's need to make a little bit better but i'm looking very optimistic uh, about uh, finland's world so the most funny is that's the on the finnish track i d i discovered that's only when i see the track and start drive Right. If there's some four or five uh, difficult elements, what is it in my home track? But uh, this element is uh, or opposite or mirror and uh, changes with places. And uh, when I glued this uh, configuration in my head, then I immediately understand how to drive this track. <laughs> <laughs> now, did, did, you, did you design the track? No. Okay. It's uh, made by uh, design made Kimo Rautama. Okay. He made designs, I think, of most of Finnish tracks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, Kimo's been around a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ron. He's a little wind car racer. He can tell you about King tracks. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to switch to Paul because I, I got a, got some questions to ask him. So, What's better, Paul, sweeping and winning five of five or doing six out of eight? <laughs> I think this was, uh, this was sweeter. Okay. Because it's been uh, 20, 20 years later and I could still do such a thing. Uh, that was, to me, I was um, really, I was hoping to win one or two. I wanted to get to 40. And then right. last year I, I already had 39 for some reason, but I, we rechecked, I had 38. So I right. really want to get to 40. And so once I did, I felt the pressure release. And so I was just uh, just doing what I do. And so it was really felt nice. And so it was unexpected to win uh, so many. I, I, right. I, I couldn't even believe it. Well, you know, and like somebody made a comment like, you know, 
Paul's tough, whatever track you take him to, but you try to race him on his home track and, and you know, this could, something like this can happen. I'm like, But I wasn't expecting it because, you know, it's so easy to tear a body or, you right. know, blow ears. Things can go wrong. And so I, a lot of the races, things just kept going right. And so it was amazing. You know, a lot of it looking ahead, driving and stuff like that. But it's a lot of it, you know, you get a little lucky. And uh, But, uh, yeah, it was amazing. Like you said, I ran, I ran eight classes, which I would never do if I wasn't at home because it's too much preparation and, and, and learning everything. I ran eight classes, and I won six and was second in two of them by a total of two and a half laps. Right. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Two and a half laps, you would have had, had eight. But uh, so, so, you know, okay, like we'll go back to the home track thing, okay? Yeah, it's your home track. But how many times have you been beat there at, at past nationals as well? I mean – a lot of the guys that raced had a lot of experience on that track as well. I mean, no one probably has as much experience as you as far as running laps. But, yeah. you know, when it comes down to big races, those other guys have stepped up. Yeah, and though, exactly. A lot of the locals, uh, you know, uh, Jason Hooper and uh, even the Colvins, those guys have been coming down there like a lot. They've right. been there more than I have. And uh, you know, practicing and dialing in their tires and motors. And so I – I kind of used what I had left over from Italy, you know, for the Israel right. classes. And I had, I had good stuff, so I was kind of ready. And then the other classes, you know, uh, the flexi cars, I had built just a couple cars, and I was swapping motors and bodies and making the same car go back out there. Right. And so, because the car was good, and, you know, I wasn't smashing it much. And so, I didn't put, a, you know, a huge, you know, effort into those, but I just had, I had good enough stuff um, to, to do it. And, and uh, you know, being familiar with the track, of course, helps, but, right. but, uh, you know, having good equipment too, and then just just letting it rip. It was uh, amazing for me to to have all those wins. Uh, I TQ'd. I think I TQ'd uh, se- seven of the eight. Right. <laughs> we're honest, let me on the TQ, the only on the one. Okay, so at some point, did you sit down and say, "Okay, I'm going to run all these classes"? That was your goal. Okay. Yeah, you know, um, when we had got the NASA was announced, and so then I just said, hey, I, I might as well run. Like, if we had a fast king, you know, like the, the newer king, the, I, I wouldn't have ran on those. I, I don't have a motor program for that. Right. I had, like, uh, one or two motors for each class on the king with one or two extra armatures only. Right. And so uh, that's that was what I had because, you know, some of those rules changed with not running a certain brand, you know, motor. So we had right. to run, you know, stuff. And so I had some from last year. But, yeah, I planned on running all the classes just because it was it was in you know it was close you know not too far and I didn't have to worry about you know being on the track to practice just had to make the equipment you know good so, right and, and being as it's a home track and you know you can you can prepare a month or two or you know you can work into the where you've got everything ready to go come the week yeah, of the race exactly I tried to have a couple cars over they were in the box like a month ago just waiting for the race and so right. Uh, and I just figured they'd work, and then I'd just do my best. And so that, those cars ended up working out really good, and I didn't make a lot of big changes as the as the week was progressing. That part was pretty nice because I, I could, you know, I was working hard every day, but I wasn't really stressing too much. You know, I was right. You know, it was pretty good, pretty okay. comfortable. And that's what I kind of figured. I kind of figured that you had probably mentally worked yourself up to this and prepared, and so it'd be much easier the week of the race versus trying to get there and thrash everything last minute and yeah i tried to have like all the bodies were cut and mounted and just so that I didn't have to you know didn't need to do too much except just dialing the last few details uh, made those so racing so many classes is really hard usually people race that many you're going to lose too much focus and could hurt, hurt your overall um you know results like you could right. not do good in most of them because you're working on too many cars right so I try to keep it simple. Like I said, I ran the same the flexi car in like three, you know, I think I ran it, you know, GTP was my same car as LMP and it was the same as my NASCAR. I just kept changing the motor and the tires and the body. <laughs> right. and at, one, at one point, the LMP car tires after the race was still teching. I said, I can't believe it. You know, they're still teching. So I put them on the, on the, on the GTP car and I go, wow. So, and I raced the same set of tires. Was it Wonder Rubber? No, because uh, his track is slow. That's right. I was, you know, that was the other thing. I was using some like, you know, some donuts that we use for Eurosport. Right. And I had them because the new rules at the 047 tech under the rear. Right. That my diameter hub size not so small uh, for a king track anymore. Right. So 
the uh, suddenly, and I think that's part of the reason my cars are fast on that track. Some guys are trying the same old treated tires they've been using, right? And uh, they weren't they were a little slippery, and so right. uh, so that's kind of why. And so um, and then um, but anyway, and also on the GT12, you know, Giannis borrowed a car, and my son could only was only available. Frank, uh, he doesn't race much at all right. anymore. So, but he was available Friday. It was a perfect day for him to run. He wanted to run the road course, not on the back. And so GT right. twelve twelve, and which he had won the um, he won the amateur one like six years ago. But he didn't right. want to run. He wanted to run on the uh, road course, so it was perfect. And so he got my extra car, and he ended up getting fourth place. I know. And he he had the fastest lap in the race. <laughs> and, yeah, he cut me, and he was the first thing he said was was dang, I got fourth, but I cut you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so. He was impressive. I thought that was fantastic to hardly it was. race at all. And look at the list of names on there. He beat some good racers. Right. So, so going back to him like six years ago or whatever it was, didn't he? Didn't you finish one two in one of the classes? Yeah, that, was a, that was a special day for me. Uh, we raced GTP was on the road course that year. Okay. And and uh, and he we came first and second uh, and and I was a straight up heads up you know pro class and I think uh, I don't know if it was you or Chickarillo made the comment like uh, no father son has ever gone one two in a pro class right so I, I'm pretty sure that's true and uh, that was cool and so in the GT12 we we kind of had a chance because he was leading out he started on black he was leading and tied with me for like the first two or three segments and then he got to white and red and started to lose ground a little bit and crashed a few times and you know. But ending up uh, fourth, and, and uh, it was a deep field there. A lot of the guys were racing right. that class. They were getting practice for Eurosport. So that was a, it was a strong, strong class. And so I was pretty uh, proud to, to see him going around there. Pretty good. Right. Well, that's like, you know, when they were – when Al Chuck was posting up uh, the mains for Eurosport, I'm sitting there, I'm looking, I'm like, man, that B main's a hell of a main with all the guys that was in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm like, that's going to be the race. And then, you know, your main, you guys – are your, I guess, semi. I mean, you had, you know, three ISRA, you know, top 20 ranked drivers. You know, Giannis is fourth, and you're 16th, and Gugu 17th. And, um, you know, there, there's other, you know, ISRA ranked guys in the field too. But it was kind of interesting just to see the makeup of the races. <clears throat> and then, you know, I kind of forgot they were semis. I'm thinking, okay, three races, one and done, and you're – but you know, there was the move up. So, you know, a couple of guys made it into the main that I didn't think was going to make it. I mean, as far as if you ran just three mains, but I forgot about the move up. So, um, you, last year you had a horrible USRA Nats as far as the three Israel <laughs> classes. Yeah. So Jonathan had an outstanding Nats, you know, last year. So, so this year it's like you two like just switched – spots because you had an outstanding Nats and and you know I don't know what was up with uh Jonathan but but Jonathan Forsyth but mm -hmm. I mean he just I don't know yeah we were talking about that there was a couple of guys we thought uh Giannis mentioned uh, that we thought would have a stronger result like just automatically um and then Jonathan was one of them and uh I think maybe Jason uh Hooper did pretty well too Jason Hooper did real well yeah he did well uh, maybe somebody else we were thinking of, but um, yeah, but Jonathan's always great. But he had small problems here, and you know, a little slow on that class, or you know, it's just just it doesn't take much, you know, if you're a little right. just a little off your game at that high level. And so, yeah, he he was he got to the finals in uh, in, in some of them, but uh, was never really pushing on on us. And uh, right, so, yeah, yeah, because I mean, the Eurosport main it was it was you, you know, Giannis, you, Gugu, and and Hooper. As far as I mean, you guys were kind of in a different zip code early yeah. in the world. Yeah, <laughs> I've raced on that track, you know, before, and we don't usually do five minute mains, whatever. But uh, right. that that main, I had never pushed a Eurosport car for the entire uh, forty minutes on that track. Usually, if I push for six heats, I got a lead on somebody. I'm slowing down and watching out. But Giannis was so fast that we, I was still behind. I just kept pushing and pushing, and, and I was reeling him in and reeling him in. Then he changed tires, and I kept reeling him in and reeling him in. Then he crashed. And right. finally, like, I, all those laps back, he was never, like, in the pits. So his tire change, by the way, only well, takes, like, three laps. Right, <laughs> he, right. I mean, he, was ready, he was ready for that tire change. So maybe three or four at the most because the track, you know, short. But, but uh, 
a lot of that it just uh, I was breaking he was breaking track records on the way out white and red that you know last last <laughs> keeping track and so he's breaking track records and there as he's going and I was breaking them down at, at the end when my car was getting down there on purple and black new track record new what? track record <laughs> at one point I think he was on uh, uh, one the green uh, <laughs> in the last minute I uh, broke track record five times yeah, yeah. in, in a, a row last in a row <laughs> in a row <laughs> yeah well yeah getting it figured out and yeah. uh, <laughs> this track is a little bit tricky to the lanes is it not same length and uh, no no same distance and right and, uh, you, is it, so for example paul start uh, on the slow side i start in the middle so i have some advance uh, and then uh, the positions is overtake i have a longest uh, lane he have a shortest lane right. and uh, it's very difficult to understand the overall situation right because uh, one of us is uh, always a little bit quicker because the lane's distance is different um, so if the track have uh, all lanes uh, same distance is very easy to control you are up or down and, and this time was a bit difficult to understand. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a typical, uh, typical MTT design, which is right. a great fun track. We've been racing on some of those for years. But yeah, right. those outside lanes are long and, and tough. And so you, they're fun, they're fast, but you're losing, you know, losing, uh, you're losing distance no matter yeah, how quick the, you are. Yeah, because the uh, another side is not much, but maybe 0 0.3 uh, faster. But uh, on a track, it feels like uh, one meter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to ask Paul the first qu this question next. If there was anything you could do in the year, if you could go back and do the Euro 24 race over again, what would you do different? Is there anything you would do differently that you think would have made you the winner versus? Coming, coming in second? No, you know, it was so close. I, I was nothing I could do except, I, you know, that last, like, that last uh, minute or so, I was slowing down a little bit because I kind of, I thought I had lapped them. And so that would, I was the only thing I would change was to just keep going hard. Okay. Even though the car was getting a little loose, I, right. I thought it was getting loose and I might crash. It still had a little more speed in it than I was giving it because I was okay. making sure it wasn't going to crash. Right. And so <clears throat> looking back, that was the only thing that I would have done different. I would have just, you know, I just would have kept pushing a little harder at the very, very end instead of just trying to, you know, manage that small lead that I had and ended up uh, didn't quite have it. So that was the only thing. So now, Giannis, you got okay. So Giannis, you got second in the two thirty-second races. Yeah. If you could go back and do anything, would any what what what, what, what could you have done? that made a difference to put you ahead of Paul? Uh, in a formula, I think I did not catch a Paul because it was my first race. Okay. And uh, I just tried to drive stable and uh, at the last segments, I catch Google and get second place. And a small Eurosport, they actually have a same story in a big Eurosport. Only the result was the suspension. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but I was uh, very, very close to win, and uh, and I, uh, the problem was with that so I was uh, also out of tires on the black, and actually I, I little bit missed some rubber to pushing harder. Okay. The, the difference, I think, was the one lap something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, you know, the small so, so it the surprise was a very close. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. It was two laps. I mean, it was very close. Yeah. 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 I think it was like you said. It was the same story. Uh, I was t at one point ten laps behind in that race too, and then as oh. we changed tires and, and the lane choices changed, I had to do the same thing. I reeled them in, reeled them in, and at the very end, I, I overtook them. I had a little bigger cushion, so I was able to. To finish off that one, but he was reeling in Google at the same time. Google was going out to like White Lane, and he, right. had, the, he had the lead for a long time in the race. Right. We knew we were racing, <laughs> so finally he went out and, and we went to third. But that was pretty funny that we got first, second, third. Uh, you know, we're all staying here together, which is right. I was pretty fun. <laughs> so, 
So, so Giannis wound up winning the nicest trophy of the weekend when he TQ'd an F1 with the, uh, yeah. <laughs> with the trophy that, that Gugu made or had made and supplied. So what I, how heavy is that thing? <laughs> mm, how did I say? About it's, one kilogram, how it is in Americans. Uh, it's only a couple pounds, you know. Okay. It's not too super. Two it's, pounds. Yeah, yeah okay. two or three pounds. It's pretty yeah. big and nice, but it's not like. Uh, it's know, not it's, heavy. It's yeah. not too heavy. Okay. okay. Which it's, is good. A, the, this uh, design of the Jim Clark when he drives, awesome. Man. Right. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. a beautiful Fantastic. trophy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will put in my home in some very visible place. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. It's really nice. Yeah, that was good. And yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, not too heavy. I think because uh, Gugu, smart racer who travels, he knows. Yeah, uh, right. You know, oh, the funny story on that thing I'll just throw in there was Gugu uh, posted a picture of that trophy. I'm bringing this for the TQ of the Formula One, and so I picked him up at the airport, and he goes, Paul. I forgot trophy at home. <laughs> 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 and I said, no. I said, well, then, Gugu, you must TQ, and then you don't have to worry about it. And right. He said, no, I have to, uh, I have to, I have it shipped. So he was on the phone and internet, and next thing you know, that thing showed up. Uh, wow. A FedEx box, probably cost only $100 to right. get that there. Wow. And, uh, he, he was. Yeah, he, I think he felt that good in that too. He was really close to Giannis in the qualifying. He almost right. took it off. Yeah, just thousands. thousands. <laughs> I think it was just a thousand uh, slower than Giannis. So, so, really so, so, yeah. So, okay. So, like you said, you could just TQ and leave it at home. He pays to ship it here, and then he winds up TQ, or, you know, TQ, and he would have been like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he was yeah. he was within a couple thousands. I think if you look at the result of right. qualifying, it was really close. And so it was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so so um, um, I know Giannis will be at the Israel Worlds. Are you going to be going, Paul? Yeah, you know, uh, th that's a tough one. Uh, I usually announce uh, after the USRA Nats. And so since we're still in the uh, dust is settling, I need to, I need to talk to my, uh, my partner that I race with. And, uh, and, and then we usually make our decision then, make sure what right. we're doing. So okay. we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. It's a little cold out there. <laughs> it's a little cold out there for the uh for the california guys and uh yeah it's like zero degrees celsius is like normal well like, <laughs> so, so i'm gonna tell you take your ice scraper because i remember the time you and trace <laughs> what's an ice scraper? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah if you're a soccer uh, yesterday Yesterday we checked on the map uh, the where is Finland uh, to show the pole understand and then we make the line and Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking at the at the globe we have right. here and it's on the same latitude longitude yeah. as Alaska. Well, <laughs> wonder why it's cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And year round. So, are you going to go to South Carolina, Paul, for forty five? You know, I, uh, I, I've been joking around with people saying, I'm, I'm getting ready to retire, man. If I can get to 40 wins, I'm going to retire. And so right. I've been joking with it. But then when they posted, I'll be honest, when they posted the picture of that MTT track, yeah. it's just uh, Chris Barnes messaged me about, hey, are you coming? And I, you know, I want to race on that thing. And then I saw that track and I said, if they put the track together properly, which means, you know, it's smooth and they, the yeah. surface is right, and they color the lanes. I'm going to go because I like that look at that track and I won't probably race all the other classes. I'll just come right. for the flat track. And if you hand me a good car for the other ones, I might run one. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, well, I figured when, yeah. when you see the picture of that track, it'd be like, you know, casting a worm into the water, catch that fish. So, yeah. And so <laughs> that track has me uh, thinking that I would pro I'll probably go. And so even though I'm joking around, retire this and that, I, what I might do, is just a little partial retirement. Like I might pick and choose more of my races and, Semi. You know, it's, a of, it's a lot of effort, and, you know, and I've kind of, I've kind of done what I've kind of done. What I, I don't have a lot to prove. I mean, that was right. crazy this week, and so I'd love to, you know, do well, especially at another Israel event. I would really love to. That's really hard competition. Right. And so I've won those before, but it's really, really tough. And so right. and those guys prepare much more details than I usually do, and so it's just tough to win. Right. And the cars are fragile, so you can't crash, but you got to go full speed, and so. 
and the practice time is much less. So, but yeah, I'll probably go to uh, North Carolina. I'll probably go to Finland. We'll see after I have a talk. And, so, uh, as as you, Giannis, you think you might come back next year to race on that MTT? Uh, no idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will uh, make my next year calendar uh, after Worlds, and then I understand where I'm uh, going, where not. It's a very busy calendar. Right. And uh, in Europe, uh, it's uh, every second weekend somewhere, some big race. And, right. And sometimes uh, in the same date, is it? In two places, some right. good races. So I ca I cannot move everywhere. Right. And uh, I I will know start think about that after Finland. Then I make the program of where I want to go and understand mm -hmm. this question. Yeah. In okay. this so moment, I have completely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to ask you a question because you said something there that it made me think of something I and I totally lost it. Oh, okay, I know what it was going to be. So, so the question is, to and Paul will know this for sure. To my recollection, Giannis is the first European to come here and win a Eurosport Twenty Fourth USRA. Yeah, national I would say, championship. I would say, I would say so. I Other than Google. Yeah, Gugu, yeah, Gugu has won it before, that's for sure. But Giannis so, would be the first European. European, I'm pretty yeah. sure, yeah. We yeah. haven't had a lot come over, but uh, but yes, Giannis, I'm pretty sure it would be the first one. So Okay. And it was only a half a lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Mike, Michael Landrew told me to, Giannis, go to San Francisco. You will like it. Yeah. <laughs> I love going to San Francisco. I mean, it's, you know, it's so beautiful there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did a nice, uh, nice tour today mm -hmm. down the Fisherman's Wharf and the Golden Gate Bridge. We got right. to see some stuff finally, besides yeah. our box. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, again, like hist i mean, this was another history, history in the making. Nats, I mean, I mean, no one's ever won six out of eight. I don't know if anybody's ever raced eight. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, and then and Giannis comes here and he's the first European to win. So as far as you know, the twenty fourth Eurosport class. So yeah, that was uh, it was pretty awesome. I think I raced eight before, and Colvin I think has raced eight before. Okay, never won so so many. Nobody, I don't think. I was uh, I was amazing. Yeah, no one's ever won six at one race. Yeah, that was uh, that was really crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, it was good fun. I think I raced eight in Seattle, but I was putting cars together last minute, you know, for the bank track and stuff like that. But yeah, this one I knew I was going to run. Right. So pretty good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Lots of history there. Uh, we're glad uh, Giannis came over. We've had a great time all week long. Yeah, we're good, we're good friends. <laughs> you know, we're good friends. And I knew he was going to be super fast. Like, I knew he was going to be one of the threats to knock me off on that on that track. And, uh, you know, I, I, I welcomed it. You know what I mean? Like, I, right. I was excited to have that that competition and it made it special for me you know to win a couple of the small eurosport classes which uh even you know he right. raced there and he'd be even quicker but at least uh it was nice to, you know we raced so close we were one and right two like the every race it was amazing yeah <laughs> no, i really like come to america the people speak in an understandable language <laughs> uh, uh, people is it very nice very friendly uh, it's uh, it's uh, possible to see in a people face to the, they are happy. <laughs> right, right. In, well, uh, well, you're at it's too cold to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it is some races where you come and you then uh, watch and you don't understand what are you doing here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this uh, atmosphere of race it's fantastic. Uh, Good. Uh, the, I think. Uh, uh, I'm absolutely sure to. Uh, I will be back in one of the, these years. I don't know if it's next or after. Right. Next, but I'm absolutely sure to. I will come again here. Well, if it's going to be Paul's last race, you need to come kick his butt one more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. They can pick this question with Jagan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right. Well. I don't, I don't have any more questions, but um, you guys got any last things you want to say or? 
Uh, while he thinks, I'll say uh, I wanted to thank uh, Frank uh, and his whole crew at, at Slot Car Raceway in Rona Park. They put on a good show and they had got a lot of good help and uh, we didn't have to do a lot of work uh, for that part of it. So right. Let me give them a shout out. That was a great, uh, they found a great race and Frank's been doing that for like 25 years. He's yep. been uh, you know, working at a raceway. Well, they put, that, they put that picture on Facebook last night. You guys were at the restaurant. And I know uh, we'll do actually we uh, every day go to restaurant. I just did not put the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the, of course, they took a bad picture of Frank at the second. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it just I, I said, poor Frank looks like he's been run over by a truck. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was tired, but but those are my final thoughts. I mean, honest, it probably has something good too. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, we fixed some three bottles of Jagermeister. Yeah. <laughs> Between the legs. I heard, I heard it was flowing really good out there. Yeah. Between the lanes. You see? That's, that's official drink. That's why we were doing that. <laughs> yeah, official drink of Between the Lanes. Jagermeister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, that was that was it. Yeah. We had a good time there. Made it fun. Well, um, Giannis, thanks for coming over and uh, putting on a good show. And um, um, you know, it was it was it was awesome that you came over. Um, awesome that you won, and um, awesome you won the week before. I mean, that's probably another history making thing. Where uh, actually, about this is a it was a f funny story. All right. uh, Italy, in the world, uh, Paul gave me a paper about that size. <laughs> there is a date and class and with very, very small uh, address of race. <laughs> 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 it's quite not possible to see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think all Americans ask Paul, well, why did you do that? He said, Nobody will come. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I showed this paper uh, in my my home to my girlfriend and uh, she said ah everything is clear you are going <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then it's i think it's come like coming like this news it comes like a surprise <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, and your girlfriend races too right no 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 okay i thought she raced too but i guess not no <laughs> Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got. So, okay, cool. Thanks for well, thanks coming for, on. Thanks for having us yeah. on. It was uh, it was fun. Always good to have fun and talk with oh, you yeah. guys. So, well, I think I think it's good for people out there. I mean, I think people learn from this stuff. You know, they they listen and and pick things up. And so, we got the twenty fourth Euro Sport Champion and the USRA Grand National Champion. I guess we'll call him for. <laughs> about eight. What do I got? Forty-four now. <laughs> Forty-four. Holy smokes! <laughs> I mean, you couldn't have left it at forty. You couldn't have got to forty-five and got nice round numbers. You had to go forty-four. I know. What the heck? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So, outstanding yeah. job. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You know, and you uh, you helped me get started a long time ago when I had zero, and I got I got one with with one of your cars. So that's yeah. where it all started yeah. for me. You got a lot with some of my cars at in time. You know, I mean, yeah, I did. But, I mean, it's, I mean it, it's like I, like I said, I love you, Paul, but you didn't win the race. <laughs> yeah, no, because I, 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 I mean, I don't know how many races I pitted for him and and changed his tires and was the coach or you know, and it was kind of like that watching the race. I'm like, come on, Paul's coming, he's coming, and you got there, and he kind of sped away, and I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I hadn't seen that before. I mean, we didn't win everything, but yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a good one. That was that was, that was good. That was you know, I don't know if you you probably were too busy to watch the last couple of weeks uh, between the yeah. lanes because I went through the history of all the scale nets starting from way back when, and then '96 through 2005, and 2006 through 2017 last week. So, you know, it's like every other pitcher. There's a pitcher of Paul Garonsky. I mean, it's like you know <laughs> tremendous yeah. career if you will yeah it's been a while a long time it's been since uh, 1993 was that first nats and Reseda oh, yeah. when you 
When you should have won that Eurosport race. <laughs> well, I didn't win it, but I was too wide. <laughs> yeah, he, he won. He won the Eurosport 24 final, and, and they tech the cars after, which was an old rule. Yeah. He had too many tires and put one too many spacers, and the car was wide, so they gave him like 10 lap penalty or something. It was crazy. 10 percent. 10 percent penalty. So he went from first down. The sixth. Sixth. <laughs> Listen, you remember like it was yesterday, 25 years ago. <laughs> well, the plaque, the plaque is in my office for that sixth place, and I have the spacer taped onto the plaque, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is why I got the sixth place, 25,000. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, you know, because me and Laster had a race just like you and, and Giannis did yesterday. I mean, yeah, you know, we yeah, raced. They were, they were too out just like we was and he won and we we're all excited and then they tech car and no, I'm sorry. Oh painful. <laughs> it was fun though. I mean Yeah, exactly. You can't win them all, you gotta try and that's all you can do. That's why uh you know like I say yesterday was super exciting for me and even though it was confusion at the end, I was super proud. I knew I ran really, really well and, and I was happy for Giannis too and uh, it was it was cool. It was really cool. Yep. Yep, <laughs> awesome. All right guys. All right, uh, Okay, you guys have a safe trip trip back home and uh, good luck at the Israel Worlds. Yeah, and and yeah. Paul's gonna be there, so good luck to you, Paul. Bye, yeah, Parker. We'll <laughs> Bye, Parker. Yeah, Remember, we'll your see. soccer slides don't make good snowshoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ron. Thanks, man. All right, I'm gonna. So anyway, everybody, thanks, and we'll see you on the regular show Wednesday night at eight o'clock. Okay.